who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. Boy, but, but is the redemptive word of God. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? For one. And we indeed, see how he takes personal responsibility? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. He said, I know I was a criminal. I know I did wrong. I know I committed two felonies before lunchtime. But this man, talking about Jesus, he's different from me. But this man has done nothing wrong. 42. And he said, now here's the action. Here is the proclamation in action. It's the hard move. Now he's nailed to the cross. This guy is talking. He's nailed to the cross. His hands are in the cross. You know, sometimes we dramatize that Jesus was on the cross. Well, there's two more people on the cross with him. So they had nails in their feet just like Jesus. They had nails in their hands just like Jesus. And the cross was a suffocating death. So here they are trying to believe, breathe, and, and the whole diaphragm in here is very difficult to breathe. It's a painful, slow death. And here this person, in the midst of this painful, slow death, he chooses to express himself in this manner. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, that's Jesus, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. God has a paradise for you. I don't know how painful your current situation is. I don't know how bad it looks in your life. Don't know what's going on in your pocketbook and in your finances. But sometimes it can be like a death scene. Get back and identify with me. Oh man, fuck the phone clothes on you. They send repo calls to pick up the car. Anybody know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd be like a death sentence. Yeah. And so I don't know if you're going through that. I don't know if physically you went to the doctor like I did a few months ago and you get dealt with a health scare a little bit and, and you gotta kind of go through that. I don't know where you are. You know what you're going through. But I just want you to know that God can change your reality today. This guy's dying on the cross. He's a so-called criminal. And Jesus says, today you'll be with me in paradise. That is true success. <laughs> you will have eternal life in a way that you won't even imagine. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. The thief on the cross. I don't know where you are. Don't know what you're going through. But today, if you say the right words, today, if you commit to the right actions, today, you too can begin to experience your paradise on earth. Father God, we thank you again for another word, another day, another time to come. Lord, we thank you for the story of this thief. We thank you for the lesson of these two individuals with a bad record and a bad name and a negative Google search and everything else going on in their life. But Father God, one person decided to step out in faith. One person decided to have a new type of church conversation. He began to talk in a way that he had never spoken before. And he spoke in faith. His behavior, his actions were actions of faith. And Father God, the end result is that your son Jesus Christ told this gentleman, You'll be with me today in paradise. Father God, this is today in our lives. And Lord, I ask that you do something mightily in the lives of your people, not next week, not tomorrow, but today. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 Give yourself a hand.